Hello. I wanted to share with you a beautiful idea that I saw in this week parasha. So interesting. It says by Moshe Rabenu ve'et napel lifnei Hashem arba'im yom. Moshe Rabenu goes and falls in front of Hashem. And ve'et napel means a lashon of attack. He attacks. He comes to pray in such a place that he sees fit 40 days and 40 nights non-stop. He continuously prays that the Pasuk testifies that he didn't eat anything and didn't drink anything for those 40 days and 40 nights. Unbelievable. You would think that when a person prays and prays again and prays again, he overdoes it. It's nagging already. It's too much. When your son comes to ask you for something, the first time he asks, you say no. Second time he asks, for the same thing, you already feel he's asking too many times. I told you already, no. Three times, overly. Four times, five times, he doesn't let go. It's too much, it's nagging. You tell him, leave me alone. Go to your own business. Moshe Rabbeinu feels that he should pray over and over and over and over, 40 days and 40 nights, non-stop. And eventually, guess what? HaKadosh Baruch does answer him. Because Moshe Rabbeinu prays, since there was a decree on Am Yisrael that they should be destroyed. And Moshe Rabbeinu was able, able to turn it around that this decree would not take place anymore. Not only that the decree was turned around, but then Moshe Rabbeinu comes and he pleads with Hashem for more things. He says that the Shekhinah should lay on Am Yisrael and he has a request that the Malach that was intended to go with Am Yisrael should not come with Am Yisrael, but rather Kadosh Baruch Hu himself should lead Am Yisrael as we learn in Parashat Kitisa. But in our Parashat, Parashat Ekev, we learn that Moshe Rabbeinu is nagging and nagging and nagging and doesn't let go for 40 days and 40 nights and HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts his prayer. Not only in this parasha, but also in last week, week's parasha, Vayet Hanan, it says over there that Moshe Rabbeinu prays. Vayet Hanan el Hashem, Vayet Ha'i. Chumim tell us that he prays 500 and 15 prayers. Kelashon va'et chanan. 515 prayers. He overly prays. It's unbelievable. He prays and prays and prays. And guess what? He doesn't let go. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu was ready to answer him. And he told him, don't pray anymore. That's it. Because if you pray one more prayer, I'm going to have to answer you. And it's not good. With this what you're asking for, it's not good. And I shouldn't, uh, I don't want to follow with your request and answer you. Because it is not good for you, it's not good for Am Yisrael as well. The fact that you are praying to go into Eretz Yisrael. And, but we see a point over here, that when a person prays and prays and prays, HaKadosh Baruch Hu eventually answers his prayer. And you would think that when a person over prays, he's nagging, but the parasha. And last week's parasha teaches us just the opposite, that the more you pray, the more likely that eventually HaKadosh Baruch Hu would answer your prayer. And, and, and the question is why? Why is it so? And the answer is that we need to realize that when we pray, that is actually what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from us. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't look at prayer as a request, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks as a, at the prayer as a form of relationship. And actually when a person doesn't pray, HaKadosh Baruch Hu does all kind of things in order to make us pray. For example, by Avot HaKadoshim, there were Akarim, they didn't have children. And um, in Avot HaKadoshot, there were Akarot, they didn't have children. And Chazal tell us that the reason they didn't have children is because HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted them to pray. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted them so much that the Lashon of Chazal, and Rashi brings it down, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu mitaveh letfilatan shel tzadikim, which means he has a desire that people should pray and have a relationship with him. So we think that when we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu for one time, two times, and three times, maybe we're overdoing it. And also we don't see results. But the truth is we learn from what we're saying right now two things. First of all, the fact that we overpray is something that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants because that builds a relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu and it's a positive thing in HaKadosh Baruch Hu eyes as well. And secondly, the fact that we are not being answered doesn't mean that we eventually won't be answered because Moshe Rabbeinu didn't let go. 
he was praying 515 prayers and he didn't let go, eventually he would be answered with one more prayer. And when he prayed in Har Sinai, in our parasha, Ve'et Napal, he came to pray in such an attacking way, in falling in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and not letting go, eventually he was answered. 